Hello, y'all. Welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. Yes, I know there have been no videos all week. I'm sorry. I'm going to try to get back on track. It has been an absolutely insane week. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Normally, I do videos throughout the week with a lot of different subjects. You can look at my playlist. They'll pop up up here and be listed down below and stuff. And uh, it's just been insane. Work has been nuts. Um, but, you know, that's pretty much all the time. But when the, the, the supervisor that I'm supporting is out for whatever reason, she was out for a few days this week because she had scheduled time off. So, of course, that means, you know, trying to herd kittens by myself. So that's crazy. And there are system issues at work because we're doing mass migrations of computer systems, of our own computer systems. If you've ever been part of that at any kind of a corporate level, you know, stuff breaks. Yeah. So that has been my, my work life. Um, but everything else has been not so as well. As you may have remembered, um, my car, the air conditioning in it was wah wah. It's been dead for a while. And it's summertime in Georgia, so that's a problem. Also, the car was such that, you know, it had over 260, 270,000 miles on it. Um, and it just wasn't happy driving it anymore. I mean, itself, the car wasn't happy. Besides me not being happy with being sweating to death, the car wasn't happy. So we were just, we decided, you know what, we're going to look for something else. We're just going to go look at, figure out kind of what we could afford budget-wise, realistically, decided kind of what we wanted. We're looking at all the car sites and, you know, had all the car apps downloaded. And we're doing all the things. We decided to go driving around and looking for cars the other day. I was off a half a day because I had a doctor's appointment in the morning and then I was off. Well, no, I had a doctor's appointment at like noon and then I was off the rest of the day. So it was practically like morning. Anyway, went to a few places locally and it was like, eh, all they had was like big trucks and stuff, you know, like Mustangs and stuff. No. Okay. We uh, decided to travel down to Cleveland, Cleveland, Georgia. We used to live down there. Went through Cornelia, went to Cleveland, went, went all over the place. And we stumbled across one that we really liked. It was a, a Kia Soul. We thought, wow, that would actually be pretty cool. Um, it was about 15 grand. No, it was about 13 grand. Sorry. Before tax tag and title. Okay. We, we drove it and it was like, yeah, we'll have to come back to this. Because it was like the first car that we drove. But we decided to go looking around some more. And we got down to Cleveland, which is like the next town where we were in, and pulled into this place because, for one thing, it was a place we had seen online that they had a few things that we might want to look at. We pull in, uh, the guy that, the, you know, the salesperson that worked there, he was, uh, he was a car guy. So we were able to talk to him, you know, about cars, and we joked around about them having a Fiat, and if you know anything about cars and stuff you'll know why that's funny and there was one there and he thought it was great we were chit chatting and talking and it was all good and we're like you know um we were kind of thinking something around the size e either something like a sedan which you know we've had forever sedans small sedans actually like subcompacts is normally our style but we're trying to find something that we don't have to climb up out of and fall into because you know we old um, or something like a Ford Escape, which is a small SUV. Because we neither one of us have ever had an SUV before, okay? He's like, well, I've got an Escape. And, and then the hubby pipes up and says, yeah, we're really looking for a hybrid. He's like, no, I've got an Escape hybrid. And we're like, what? It was up on the upper part of the lot where we just couldn't see from where we were standing. He went up and got it, brought it down so we didn't have to go up there because, you know, hubby was having a hard time walking around that day. We've been out in the heat all day. And I was like, Oh, oh my, this is nice. Now it's only one year newer than the car I had. So it's a 2000 and, uh, I just had a brain bubble. It's a 2009. Okay. But it had only about half the amount of mileage on it that my car had when I bought it. Yeah. Cause when I bought that car, it was, I think it was all like 160 or 180,000 miles. This has about a hundred thousand miles. That is not bad for a 2009. It had a clean Carfax. It only had two owners. And it looked really well taken care of. It's a couple little, you know, road dings and stuff that you get from rocks on the roads and stuff. But otherwise, 
looks really nice. It's like an ice blue. So it's not black. That was a big thing. We didn't want, my current car was black. In Georgia, in the summer, with no AC. I want you to think about all of that, okay? This car is not black. Um, he's like, yeah, take it for a drive. And I wasn't going to, he's like, hubby's like, you drive. I'm like, no. I was already quite nervous and it was like busy time in that town and I wasn't used to driving there. I don't like getting into a vehicle that I'm not used to driving and it's not mine. And in an area that I'm not familiar with driving in, it was just too much. I said, no, you drive. I, I trust your judgment on dealing with a car because he's like, he's car knowledgeable, you know. Drove it all around, runs great, drives great, comfortable, clean. Um, so yeah, we bought a car. <laughs> right then and there, they don't do financing there. So we said, okay, um, you know, we'll, we'll give you money to hold it because we have to go get the financing from our bank. And by that time of day, it was already kind of late, so the banks were closed. A branch of our bank was in that town. We could have done that, but it was it was too late in the day for that. So we do that. We're like, wow, okay, this is cool. We're holding a car. Um, go home, make the appointment online to go talk to our bank people, because that's what you do. You just make an appointment online and tell them who you want to speak with if you have a preference. And we wanted to speak with Angie because we've dealt with her with loans before, and she's awesome. So the hubby goes to drive down there. Now, the, the branch that we deal with with that bank is about 30, 40 miles away, you know, driving ways as the crow flies, not so far, because there's no branch of it in the town we live in because we've both been using that bank for so many years in another town. We just stayed with it. You know, I've been using them for, you know, more than 25 years. So, now let me back up a little bit. The last time we were going to talk to Angie about a loan, uh, we were doing like a home equity loan so we could do some other things. And we had an appointment. We were driving down there in his car, which was a Hyundai. And blew the engine on the way down there on the highway. I bet you can see where this is going. Okay. He gets down there and he's early. He left early because I'm like, look, be early. Take your time. Blah, blah, blah. He takes his time, he drives normal roads and like not the highway, except for the one part you have to because there's a detour because there's a bridge out, but anyway. And he decides to stop at Crystal Burger because there's Crystal Burger there and he's early and he wants to get a little bite and get, get a beverage. He's inside the Crystal Burger and he says, somebody's like, they had Altima out there, a radiator blew up. And he's like, what? And he looks out. Now, this is after he's out of the car. The car is off. He's in the restaurant sitting down. And the radiator. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay. So now he is essentially stranded, not at the appointment with the, uh, the loan person. And he texts me. I'm working because, you know, nightmare at work, right? And I'm like. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. I so said the car is okay. You're, you're at the, the, the crystal, right? Yeah. Okay. It can be parked there, right? Yeah. Have you looked at under the hood? No, it's too hot. Okay. My guess is it's probably just a hose that just finally let go because that's what happens. But anyway, I'm like, get an Uber in this area. Ubers are not real common and popular. So he had to wait a minute for the Uber. Um, he actually called and talked to Angie's like, look, uh, this has happened again, and but this time I'm in town. I'm just waiting on an Uber to get me there. So he gets there, getting the loan sorted out, getting it settled. And I'm like, well, how in the heck are we going to get him home? A straight up Uber ride would have been because he talked to the Uber people or did the thing or however did you figure out how much something is on Uber. And it was going to be like 75 bucks to get him home from there because it's quite a distance. So he worked something out with the, with the drivers like, look, I cash 50 bucks. I'm like, fine. He's like, well, I have to get cash. I'm like, dude, you're at the bank. I, I wish I could show you my text. I'm like, you are at the bank. Well, should I get it out of my account? No, you are at the, just pull money out. Apparently his brain was misfiring too. I was panicking. His brain's misfiring, okay? 
get that sorted out. Okay, so we have a very dear friend who you may have seen the hand of uh, during some of my taste tests, my friend Sean. And I'm like, Sean, I'm panicking, blah, blah, blah. And he was still at work. Um, he gets off work at like three in the afternoon. So after he finally gets done working because he's, you know, busy up to his nose too. What is happening? You know, he calls me and he's like, what's going on? And I, you know, give the Reader's Digest version. He's like, I'm on my way. He calls the wife and he's like, look, I got to go. And she's like, go, go, go. He drives down here. Now, mind you, they're in the next state. Okay. He drives down, goes and rescues Jamie from the bank. Everybody is relieved. The bank lady is relieved. Jamie is relieved. We're all relieved. But needless to say, he also worked out and the bank lady talked to the car person and they drove all the way across ways to get back to Cleveland and picked up the vehicle. So we're not without a vehicle. I have bought the insurance. Everything is being worked out. I still have to sign some paperwork for the loan because we both have to sign and he'll take that back Monday. So that is actually settled now. I can breathe. And he's been calling it the twuck. Cause it's not really a truck, but it's not really a car. It's a twuck. Anyway, that, and that wasn't even all that happened this week. Are you kidding me? <sighs> okay, after we were looking for the car, um, we were in Cleveland and there's this place there, uh, rib, rib something, rib country. I heard about it from friends. It's really good. We decided to go because, oh yeah, I remember seeing that in our drives. So we went there. Cool. Meals great. The food is awesome. But there was a shrieker in there. And by a shrieker, you must understand, it's a small toddler. We don't have kids. I cannot deal with high-pitched, sudden screeches. It sets off triggers of my PTSD badly. Once or twice it happens, and if the parents are shushing it, you know, I get it. Kids do what they do. I mean, especially little babies. Little babies scream. Do I like it? No. But that's how they communicate. But if the parents are doing what, oh, it needs a bottle, it needs, it needs changed, it needs bounce, whatever the heck it needs, you're taking care of it. I'm cool. I understand. This was a shrieker who was shrieking just because it was fun. And the parents thought it was cute. And they thought it was funny. Because every time it shrieked, now we're 40 feet away. This is a big, big restaurant room. I would jump. And they would set it off again because they thought it was funny. I jumped, the hubby jumped, other people looked real annoyed, but eventually it got to the point where I sort of had a nervous system shut down and I was like rocking and shaking. And then eventually I found myself outside the restaurant because apparently I grabbed my stuff. We were already paying. We were already getting out of there. And I know that I, we had already, I had already given the credit card and gotten my credit card back and waiting to fill out the slip. I just, I got up and apparently I walked a little bit towards them and screamed at them and then left. <laughs> yeah. And then I sat outside on the benches outside for a while and, and Jamie finally came out. It takes him a while to get in and out of places. He's not getting up and running anywhere. Okay. Man uses a cane. It's an issue. So we finally leave. What really ticked me off now for about 45 minutes after that, I couldn't word very well. I it's sort of short circuits. I mean, it gets to the point where it's just, uh, you know, and I saw one of the smug, can't use that word because, you know, they get banned or whatever, comes out holding her little to-go boxes as she comes out because she could see me sitting in the car. I had to really focus on, okay, I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to go to jail because at that point I was ready to get out and fight. And you set off my rage. You're going to get hurt. <laughs> Cause yeah. Anyway, they finally go to their vehicles. Jamie comes to the car. We leave. Takes me a while to get back to me, you know? So yeah. And then that night after all of that, Sometimes I have, I have medicine that sometimes makes me sick, but I think that after all of that, because of that whole thing with my head, I was up for like three hours thinking I was going to, you know, do the Hurley thing. There was no Hurley thing. I had my bucket. 
sit on the clothes, had the bucket, but I broke out in such a sweat. Now, mind you, my house is air conditioned. It's always a comfortable temperature in here. I sat there. I was sweating so hard. I almost slid off the commode seat. I left a puddle of sweat in front of me. And after I was done there, I realized, that, okay, we're, there's not going to be any tossing of cookies or anything like that. And then there's nothing happened at the other end. I got up, went to the other room, took my temperature because I have a thermometer in the other room. Normally I run, now this is Fahrenheit, y'all. It's Fahrenheit. Normally run 97.1. Normal temperature is 98.6. I am not a 98.6 girl. I'm a 97.1 girl. My temperature was actually 96.3. So I don't know what was going on, but I felt better when I woke up. Everything was fine later. But I had never sweat so much at once, especially from doing nothing in my whole life. Drama. I'm telling you, all week it has been drama. So that's all done. That's all done. We're going to get to the other parts of crochet and life and stuff that are not panic attacks and car buying. Although one thing a little bit relates to the car buying because... We're like, after we ate lunch and went to go find a, go drive it around, he's like, you know what? We need beverages. We, we got beverages, but need something minty. So I had, we, well, Dollar Tree has, um, mint things. Let's just go there because there was Dollar Tree right past her. I ran in. I don't like to use my debit card or whatever. It was just like a dollar purchase. That's stupid. It costs the store money. And I don't, you know, why do that? So <laughs> I did pick us up a little snack while we were there, which is long gone. And just to... Add to my total so that it wasn't a little tiny transaction. I picked up yarn. Aren't don't those colors go together nicely? I think that that will make like a nice hat or something once it cools off enough to crochet a hat. But this is that Just Yarn from Premier. Premier Just Yarn Worsted. It is nice stuff. It's a buck and a quarter now, not Dollar Tree, but whatever. 50 grams, 100 meters, 100% 100 acrylic, a medium weight four, and uses a five and a half millimeter hook. If you have not used this stuff, if you have a Dollar Tree, go try it out. It is Premier Yarn. It is actually good stuff. So anyway, I did go pick that. So there was some yarn purchase this week. That was it. That was it. I have not been purchasing yarn. But I have been doing a little bit of crocheting. I do not have a finished object. Oh, wait, wait. Before I get to my crocheting, I forgot. And I have it sitting right here. And I forgot. Hang on. <laughs> I enter things on Instagram all the time. And I enter things from a place called H Mart, which I've talked about before. That's where I found a lot of my hot things or my, my stuff from snacks around the world. Um, it's a Korean and Asian grocery store. There's a bunch of them in the Atlanta area. So we'll drive down there to go to H Mart. But on Instagram, they have giveaways all the time. So I entered. It was for some ramen. Okay. Now, just to let you know, I thought I was winning just a little pack of ramen. They were sending out little cheapo things, right? I won and I was cool with it. They, 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 they tag you and you have to contact them back. And I did. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Forgot about it. Because, you know, it takes a few weeks to get whatever you're going to get. It's all good, right? Got this box. <laughs> okay, you see the size of this box. <laughs> I open it up. And first of all, I can't figure out who it's from. It's got like a handwritten from label. Um... Or a hand, you know, with my name on it. And like, it's from, from New Jersey. And I'm like, the only person I know in New Jersey that would send me something is Joe, Garden State Gardener. But I know he's been laid up and stuff because he just had surgery, right? So it's not from Joe. Well, I finally get home and open it because this is the day that we were out looking for cars. This came in. And I open it and I laughed so hard. I did not just get like one pack of ramen like this. I have eight of them. This is a uh, mild ramen, which is good. And it's a Korean ramen by a Pulmuon. I don't know the name. I don't know whatever. But yeah, it's each one is a four pack and they're the round ramen things and they have the seasoning with them. This would be like really good ramen. So we got a lot more ramen in the house. It's like good ramen, not of the 30 cent stuff, which I'm kind of tickled about that. So. Oh, and each one comes with a soup base and with dried vegetables to put in there. So, pretty awesome. So, yeah. Okay. Now to the crochet. I promise. Okay. Uh, working on the hashtag Rock 2022 AU. This time, because a lot of uh, people in Australia, especially, everybody does like Christmas in July or whatever, because, you know, it's halfway through the year. Why not? But in Australia, that's when it's cold, is in July. 
So she decided to do that. And the album she pulled out was a an Elvis Christmas album that was actually only available in Australia. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to be inspired by a different Elvis Christmas album. One that I was familiar with because my mom had it and, you know, very popular. Everybody knows Elvis, right? And it is the uh, Blue Christmas album. This is the start of it. I have not finished my square yet. Like I said, it's been crazy this this time. But blue, silver, red for the ribbons and stuff. And I will try to put a picture um, when I finish it. I will have a picture probably next week. So you'll see the whole thing, the square that's done and everything at the end. And of course, it's still living in my Halloween Express bag because that's what I've been using this one for. I choose my yarn colors, stick it in here, and it sits in front of me in the living room, and that's when I work on it. The other thing that I work on in the living room is my temperature blanket. Pardon me. There are a couple of loose squares, but I did finish sewing on my latest 19. <clears throat> this is 19 squares across, and it will be 20 rows down. I am 11, 11 rows now or sewed together. So I'm more than halfway there. We're more than halfway through the year. So I guess that makes sense. And the latest one you can see is very dark because it's been hot. The way I did my colors, uh, the inside color is the low temperature. The outside color is the high temperature. And I have nine different colors. So there you go. That is how it's looking. This blanket makes me so happy. For one thing, because I've kept up with it. I have kept up with this. We are in month seven. And... I love the colors. It's going to make a really cool throw. I am going to put a border on the outside when it's done. No pattern, just little bitty squares. I did do a tutorial and I will try to link my, my little beginner tutorials somewhere up there. So there you have it. Crochet, life, stuff, and drama with Deborah. <laughs> it's been a week. Oh, it's something I must show you. Pardon me. Come here, you. Oh. It was asleep at my feet just now. I know y'all love to see the boy. Hey. What you looking at? Did I wake you up? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I woke you up here. You can go back to sleep. When I was so stressed yesterday, he came in and he knew I was stressed. He forced me to pick him up, which he'll do. He'll sit there and tap at me until I hold him. And I had to hold him for a while, which of course calmed me down. Didn't it? Yeah. Blink, blink. He is so stinking sweet. Ooh, knucklers. I call that knucklers when he wraps his little knuckles around my finger. Knucklers. Anyway, that's the Oscar. My teeny kitty. I'll try to put another picture of him later if I can get one. Oh, he's got mama. He's got mama. But uh, thank you for coming by. I'll try to resume my normal schedule of videos. If not, check out my playlist, because I'm sure there's some you haven't seen. At least for most of y'all. Some of y'all have seen everything, but some haven't. There's fun stuff. There's hot stuff. In a couple of the hot thing, hot tastes, you can watch my face burn off. Yeah, really. It's crazy. <laughs> Thank you so much. See you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.